tear gas once again shrouds the streets of Hong Kong. Protests returned after China pushed for a strict new national security law for the territory under cover of the coronavirus. The national security law is even more damaging and harmful than the extradition bill last year introduced by the government. And now, when time is running out in Hong Kong, we would describe now as the beginning of the end. We don't have enough time, but we still need to continue the fight. Opponents see this as the end of Hong Kong's one country system's relationship with China. The legislation that gives Beijing more surveillance powers is supported by Hong Kong's pro-Chinese legislators and local security chiefs. Uh, or this law will not affect the great majority of Hong Kong. I don't think the great majority of Hong Kong people have been in any interest whatsoever uh, to subverting state power or the central government. So I don't think that is an issue. Beijing's rubber stamp assembly is expected to approve the law next week. But protests on the small island may prove difficult to stamp out. And for more on this, let's go to Hong Kong and speak to reporter Florence de Changi. Uh, thanks for joining us. Can you tell us what are the concerns of the protesters? Well, interestingly, uh, today's protest was initially planned against another law called the National Flag and Anthem Law that the local parliament, LECHCO, was about, is about to pass. And since several opposition lawmakers have been disqualified, the pro All of praise in honey and glory to Yehawa. Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Kaha Gadash, and the Bohana to Zeld and a post of Gutimis on who do well and who taught us this one hundred percent truth according to the scripture. A PC blessing, exhortation to you, Aki, and who are pushing this truth to the four winds of the heaven. Be on the forefront of this speech of all to make sure Jerusalem is established as it prays here on the Asia again. It's another lesson about. <coughs> The insurrection going on over there in Hong Kong. Let me get a scripture. This was the Swahili Bible. Mm. So this is a book of Jeremiah 48 and a verse 4. It says, Moab is destroyed, a little one have caused a cry to be heard. For in the going up of Ruhithi, continue weeping shall go up. For in the going down of Holon, Naim, the enemy have heard a cry of destruction. Free save your life and be like the heath in the wilderness. See? For be because thou has trusted in thy work, in thy treasure, thou shall also be taken, and the chemo shall go forth into captivity with his priest and his princess uh, together. So, uh, this was talking about uh, the destruction of Moab, you see? So here you have uh, the top elite of the nation of Moabu. They think that uh, they are going to rule next, see. But uh, here in Jeremiah 48, we see uh, the destruction of Moabu, man, you see. And uh, this is just the beginning, man. And it is not looking good uh, for this Moabite, man, you see. 
and then uh, uh, for a nation to be destroyed man uh, it take time man see it's like how uh, when you want or uh, when somebody want to dock a large ship see until that ship uh, uh, dock on a harbor it takes some time see the same thing this a large nation uh, like chinese see and as this year, the Edomite nation, especially America, uh, it is taking time, and as the Lord is doing his thing, and it is not looking well for them, man, you see. Let me see again. <coughs> Second Ezra uh, 16, you see, and the 7. For there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon his own that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, you see. So the scripture going into what we call anarchy, you see. And uh, anarchy simply means uh, people disregarding uh, their authority, starting with the police, the so called mayors, and so forth and so forth. Man. And uh, uh, we are in that time, man. And we are in that time, see. And it is not looking good on Moab, is Isau, man. It is not looking good for Isau. And it is not looking good for more women. Let's go to verse to 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 to, to second days verse fifteen, uh, verse sixteen. It says, "For there shall be sedition among men, and evading one another. They shall not regard the king nor prince, and the cause of the action shall stand in their power. That is the anarchy. There, I mean, a man shall desire to go into a city, and they shall not be able." For because of their pride, the seed shall be troubled, and the house shall be destroyed, and many shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with their sword, and spoil their goods because of lack of breeding and for, for great celebration. And what is happening in Hong Kong, man, it's not only about uh, that law in which uh, mainland China wanted to force on them, but there is another thing, man. Life was very difficult in Hong Kong, man. You see, when there is lack of breed, uh, uh, it results into discontent, man. Uh, and the murmuring, people start murmuring about <laughs> other problems, man. You see? Uh, but if people are eating well, man, even if we want to pass a law which they don't like, they won't take it to the street that serious, man. That is about bread, man. In Hong Kong sees that the main, mainland China are enjoying more than them. That's why they want to take it to the street, man. So it's all about that money, man, that piece of pie, see. And that's what we made with Noni, the king of gradualism. Guess what? How about Hashem Yawasha is an ultimate king of gradualism, man. You see? The grind are seizing, man, are coming to a screeching a uh, lot. Uh, evil is growing, man. Evil is growing. Let me get that. I think it is in Second Ezra. Let me get it faster. Second Ezra. Uh, <coughs> you see. 16 verse 21. Behold, victory shall be so good cheap upon the earth, man. This is especially mob. Uh, that's why the scripture tell you Moab have been at ease uh, since her youth. You see? Uh, that they shall uh, think themselves to be in a good case, and even them shall evil grow upon the earth, so the famine great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. That's going to the nuclear mission. Eh? See? You see? So I want to do a quick lesson, man, see, about this Moabite, man. It is not looking good on you Moabite, man, in Chinese. 
and you are not ruling next. So, with this, I say shalom. I hope you brothers were edified. On to the next.